Lulu Sketches, and I wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support on my first Frenchie video. It blew me away how many people actually watched that video. I'll link that video down below in case you haven't seen it. So for this video and my last video, this is all information that's just from my vet who has experience with French Bulldogs. The information I give in these videos might not all be necessary for your Frenchie, so please consult your veterinarian first. I also talked about Mabel's food in my first video and I wanted to update you guys. I have actually switched to Royal Canine brand. Mabel has some sensitive stomach issues, so I switched her over to that brand. And to clarify something I said from the first video, when Mabel gets warm from running around at the park, we will put cool water mostly on her stomach and paws. This will cool her down and prevent overheating. Mabel has never been overheated before, but I will put this warning out there. Never pour ice cold water on an overheated dog. This can cause them to go into shock. A lot of people didn't know this after the first video, so I just wanted to make sure to mention it again here. Also in my first video, some of you guys found it very stupid that I put a hoodie on my dog. So for this video I put her in onesie pajamas. Which leads us to our first topic. Frenchies are sensitive to cold. Frenchies have short coats and they don't have much fur on their ears and bellies so they get cold easily. I live in LA but it still gets chilly in the winter. Mabel was actually shivering this morning so I put on her pajamas. Also during the winter we usually put a sweater on her when we take her for her morning walk when it's still in the 40s and 50s. If you live in an area where it snows, really bundle up your Frenchie before you take them for a walk. Also salt on sidewalks in snowy areas can be irritating to Frenchie's paws so you can even invest in some little booties for your Frenchie. Also make sure to have a warm dog bed and blankets for inside when it's cold. Mabel's favorite is called the Cozy Cave. It's actually a dog bed that has a top to it and it's like Sherpa furry inside so she can crawl into there and really get warm. Or we just wrap her up in blankets. Mabel loves wearing clothes and sweaters, especially when she's cold. When we just put the sweater out for her, she'll crawl into it herself. My next topic is Frenchies have allergies. Frenchies and bully breeds in general, like pit bulls, tend to have skin issues. A lot of them have sensitive skin and skin allergies and can break out into rashes easily. In the past, Mabel has broken out on her tummy or in between her toes or under her tail pocket. To prevent this, we now wipe her down daily. Right now, we're using the chlorhexidine wipes. These are ones we got from our vet, but you can get them online too, and I'll link them down below. So they're an antiseptic. They are antibacterial and antifungal. So every morning we wipe down Mabel. We wipe down her back, her stomach, face wrinkles, and then we use a separate wipe and we wipe in between all her toes. You don't want them to break out anywhere because one breakout can lead to more breakouts. If your Frenchie does break out, you can use a medicated shampoo, the one that I talked about in my first video. It is called Mycona Hex plus Triz, and I'll link that down below. We got this from our vet, but you can also get it on Amazon. My next topic is Frenchies have fragile spines. French Bulldogs have genetically fragile spines, so you need to try to limit activities that cause problems. Don't let your Frenchie jump off the bed or off the couch, and don't let them run on stairs. We personally don't even let Mabel walk downstairs. We carry her because we really want to prevent any spinal injuries. The thing about French Bulldogs is they do not know their limits. They want to run and jump and play just like any other dog, so it is your job to prevent them from going too crazy and hurting themselves. Also limit playing tug of war with your Frenchie just because the jerking back and forth can really hurt your Frenchie's spine. And just as I said in the first video, make sure to use a harness instead of a collar. Also make sure to support your Frenchie's spine when you pick them up. So when you pick them up, make sure to support their chest and their hind end to keep that spine aligned even when you're carrying them. Time to talk about anal glands! Next is everyone's favorite topic, anal glands. So every dog has anal glands. They are these little sacs of fluid. They are located internally on either side of your dog's butthole. These glands need to be expressed and most dogs can express them on their own just when they poop. Some breeds have trouble expressing them on their own, including French Bulldogs. Mabel's actually had no trouble expressing hers on her own until recently, and she's two years old. You can tell when your dog's anal glands need to be expressed because they'll probably be acting uncomfortable and trying to scoot their butt on the floor because it itches. Some dogs even leak anal fluid. I've seen this a lot with pugs. You'll know if your dog has leaked anal fluid because it smells like death. It's the most rank thing you've ever smelled. It's like 
year old dead fish. To get your French Bulldogs anal glands expressed, go to your vet. You can also express anal glands on your own, but you really need to get your vet to show you exactly how to do it first. Really don't try to do it on your own the first time. It can be a disgusting, messy process and you might want to have your vet do it every time. Some dog breeds can have their anal glands expressed externally by lifting the tail and they actually come out and so a groomer can do this. But for French Bulldogs, they don't really have tails, so it has to be an internal process. So that's why a vet has to do it over a groomer. If your Frenchie is unable to express their anal glands on their own, then it's probably a process you need to have done every six weeks or so. And the last topic for today is get pet insurance. We got pet insurance as soon as we got Mabel and it paid for itself pretty quickly. Frenchies have little health issues pop up from time to time, especially like rashes, the allergies. So you're gonna want pet insurance to cover that. Right now I have nationwide through my work, but make sure to do your research and figure out exactly what kind is right for you. So that's how to take care of a French Bulldog part two. I hope this was helpful. There's a lot of things to think about when you're taking care of a Frenchie, but they have the best personalities and they're so worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And comment down below what kind of Frenchie videos you want me to do next. Bye!